Welcome, welcome back if you're returning. Today's video started with this chair, which led to this desk, which then led to ceiling being painted, a laser level, painter's tape, and what started out as a room, not even a refresh, deep clean, tidy, reshuffle, turned into a fully fledged makeover. It certainly wasn't intentional, but I went, decided that I needed a chair for this room, and I found that little chair at the beginning, and that started the wheels turning in my mind, which then caused a snowball effect, which then led to an avalanche. So I'm going to show you how I started this makeover. Uh, like I said, the intention wasn't a makeover, it was just a deep clean, reshuffle. So how it turned into a fully fledged room makeover and themed no less. Uh, I've gone with a 1920s art deco inspired room. So let's let me show you what I did. So as I said, the intention was just a really good deep clean. I can't move the big bookcases, those are attached. and I, I wouldn't want to move them, they're too heavy. The other two bookcases, I had a big cabinet that came from the living room and then I had a smaller bookcase. And of course, we're always adding to the book so that we always need extra book space. So I popped out, decided I needed a chair and found this chair. Couldn't find what I was looking for initially, but found this for $3 and it is I looked at it and I thought immediately, Art Deco, it's got that look, the style, the, the way the arms are. And then I thought, okay, I can, you know, paint it and recover it. And that was my kicking off point. So I decided I was going to recover it. Dudley said, yeah, he didn't like the way it smelled. So I had to take all the covers off and replace them. And he's decided whether he really likes it. And of course it's a hit with him, so we can move ahead. So the plan was um, sand this down, um, give it a quick spray, and then I was going to um, gold leaf it. Um, take the chairs out in the backing, the seat out in the backing, and recover them. So that's where we're at right now. So here you can see I've taken the seat out and the backing out. I've given the chair a very light sand and I'm going to give it a coat, one coat of gold spray paint, which is going to be the base for my gold leaf. These are the seat covers and I'm just going to recover those. I have enough black velvet to cover the seat and either the front or the back of the backing on the chair. Um, now, I was wanted to do Art Deco colours, which obviously is the black and the gold, pinks, um, you know, navies, uh, teals. Um, so I went with, because I was doing the frame in the gold, I thought the black velvet would look great. And then I found a lovely piece of material that I'd used in the lamp shade that I made a few weeks ago and put that on the front of the chair. So all in all, it goes with the room, it goes with the chair and it's a nice match for that Art Deco look. So who remembers this desk? I've had this one a while and have made it over before. I had a transfer for the top of the desk and then I went back and I added in these little decals on the side. Um, and again, this was painted in chalk paint. I decided to give it a coat of black chalk paint and then that was going to be added to the top of another unit that I had so we took the less the desk legs off and added it to the top of this cabinet um, you can see the cabinets had been previously painted in the black and I highlighted with gold that's exactly what I'm doing with this little desk piece that's been screwed on top of the base cabinet um, I also then went over it all with a one coat of high gloss urethane and that was to uh, achieve a, a shiny glossy look which was more in keeping with that 1920s art deco look
time to turn my attention to the ceiling. Now, the ceiling was white. Uh, the walls are panelled in a very old, ugly panelling. I can't change the walls. Uh, I can't change, I can't touch the panelling. So I decided to paint the ceiling in a lovely soft pink, which again, Art Deco colours, um, especially with the, all the velvets, the brown velvets and the black that I've got in the room. This was a perfect combination. On top of this two coats of the pink, I am adding a grid pattern uh, stencil, which is a very uh, a usual Art Deco design. Um, and I'm going to use a laser level and make a grid pattern and then I'm going to go over this with the same brown that I've used on the walls previously and it's going to hopefully tie it all together. Um, this is something that I wanted to paint the ceiling dark brown initially but thought it might be a little bit oppressive so I went with the pink and then with the, this uh, grid pattern accent in the brown. can see I've uh, made the grid pattern, finished off the edges with the tape and then just painted between obviously the pink areas uh, is where the brown is going to be and then once this was partially dry just pulled all the tape off to reveal the pattern. And of course, it wouldn't be one of my videos if I didn't do a lampshade makeover. No material this time, I'm painting them. This is something new for me, I've only done this once before. So what I've done is I've given these two, these were from Ikea initially. I picked these up for 50 cents each on a previous thrifting trip. Um, what I've done, I've got one pink one and one green one and I want them to match the brown velvet on the curtains and the valance and the window shade that I've made for the one window. So I've given them a coat of black craft paint to start with, um, just so that I'm not using, I don't have to use up two coats of the paint that I have because it's, it's a can that I've had for a while. It's the same brown that's in the room. I don't have a lot of it left. This way, if I've got a good substantial color underneath, which is this black craft paint, I only have to give it one coat of the brown and it will then be the same color, the color that I need, and I won't have used up all my paint. So I've done this with both lampshades, as I said, the pink and the green. One coat of the black, once the black is the uh, craft paint is dry, I give it a coat of the brown paint that I've used on the walls. So they're ready. I needed them to, I was going to adapt these and put them on the existing lampshades that I have in the room. So I just made little discs for the top of them because I've turned these lampshades upside down. Um, I printed off these little Art Deco designs on my Cricut machine. I did six of these in this size. I made seven more and put them on a Valance that I've made, which you'll see over the window. And this is just some uh, gold adhesive paper that I picked up thrifting. I wasn't sure it was going to work with the Cricut, but it worked great. I cut it out, peeled the back off, stuck them directly to the shades and they look fantastic. I'm really pleased with them. And again, I did the same thing to the Valance that I made. Just made a quick Valance out of the same material um, that I had in my curtains just to cover the window uh, until I can get some really nice blinds to put in there and then just covered them again with these little designs just to tie it all together. And as I said, I made little discs for the um, lampshade to fit on the existing lamp that I have in the room. So who remembers these curtains? So these were the basis for the last makeover I did in this room. I have three pairs of these velvet curtains. They're all from Ikea, but I thrifted them all on different occasions because they're all from Ikea. They're all roughly the same shade. I've um, had to deal with this panelling from day one. 
So the one wall at the back is where I painted the brown and then to match the curtains. And this is the chair that started this escapade and I love how it turned out. I think it looks really nice. The, um, if we get up close, it looks like it's brushed metal. And this is just one coat of spray paint. I didn't even put the gold leaf on it. I didn't have to, I just love the way it looked. There's the desk, which was MacGyvered. The top of the one desk, the bottom of a shelf unit. The uh, ceiling treatment, which I just think makes all the difference in the world. And again, very reminiscent of the 20s and 30s. Um, it's not a terribly large room. And of course, if, if I could, I would have bookshelves, floor to ceiling. We do have lots of books. We've got them all over the house in every room, but the majority of them have kept here. I put the um, my old typewriters, I've been selling them off. So these are the last two that I've got. Um, and I also, there's the lights that I'm pleased with how they turned out. Those are actually on upside down. And then I just made the little Valance for the window and used the same, as I said, the same prints um, on my Cricut machine and just stuck them to the Valance. Um, and then I also got my cameras out and put them on the top of the other bookshelf. And then just accessorised with all my little 1920s accessories. I do have a lot of Art Deco and Art Nouveau artwork um, in a calendar that I kept from 2009. So that was fun looking through that and using those prints. But um, in general, it certainly has that, um, I think it does, it has the feel of, uh, of the Art Deco movement and uh, I really love how it's turned out and come together. I do have a couple of frames. This is one from the 19... 20s 30s I have another one in the living room um, I don't have an awful lot of art deco stuff just because honestly in the antique stores it is so overpriced and I don't ever find anything crafting um, thrifting that is art deco if I do I pick it up but usually it, I don't see stuff this is a really good idea I've done this for years. This calendar was from 2009 and it's reproductions of French advertising from the 20s. I've used this calendar and these pictures in various houses over the years. I've had a couple of them in frames. What I've done here is just used double-sided tape to stick them to this wall. Again, I would have loved to painted this panelling out, but I couldn't do it, so I just used this double-sided tape. Um, that way it doesn't do any damage to the posters. I can reuse them in um, picture frames if I want to. I would have liked to have actually gather a load of picture frames if I'd have had enough the, the same I would have done, but I didn't want to go out and spend a whole bunch of money picking up picture frames because, it was this, like I said, this was a spur of the moment thing and so far this whole makeover had cost me $3. Now that is because I already had everything on hand except for this lovely seat. Uh, which it is comfortable, it feels great, it looks lovely and it is perfect for the look that I liked. Um, and honestly, you would never think that this was just one coat of regular store-bought gold paint. Uh, it is, it just looks lovely, it looks like brushed metal and I am very pleased with how this turned out. Gonna be honest I was a little disappointed I didn't have enough of this black velvet to finish the whole chair but the way I've complemented the front with this pattern if you remember this pattern is the one that came from the little lamp makeover that I did in the living room I figure I can use it in here should I need extra light this room is quite dark even with the windows um, but I do like the, the contrast and that material does have a little bit of gold fleck in it so it's lovely um, the desk is so usable now. I will use it so much more than I ever did before. It is perfect in this little window alcove. Um, 
Again, this was the bottom half of the um, drinks cabinet that I did the other week. Um, I'd had it on Kijiji, sold it three times, and nobody turned up. So I decided this, and I kept it myself, and I've split it up. I've put, I'm using the bookcase part in one room, and the bottom of it has made the bottom of this desk. recently picked up this little uh, gold cage with the bumblebee on top it was already sprayed gold it's really cute and I thought what should I put in it and then I had this lovely pink salt lamp and it fit perfectly in there I just thought it looks so nice um, there's like I said there's not an awful lot of light in this room but it is it lends itself to it's got a lovely moody feeling um, the lamps turned out great as I said these are on upside down and I just MacGyvered them so they would fit on the existing sh um, lamps there. Um, you can see the little valance that I've made. I'm going to get some blinds when I can find some or put some curtains up. I'm just not sure what to put up on that window just yet. And I love how this ceiling has turned out. <laughs> 